let z of x comma y equal x y, where x equals r cosine five theta and y equals r sine two theta. Notice both x and y are functions of two variables, r and theta. We're asked to calculate the partial of z with respect to r and the partial of z with respect to theta by first finding the partial of f with respect to r, the partial of y with respect to r, the partial of x with respect to theta, and the partial of y with respect to theta. Below we have the chain rule when we're given a function f of x comma y and both x and y are functions of two variables. Above here in blue, I've taken the chain rule and changed the variables of s and t for x and y to r and theta to make it easier to follow. To begin though, let's determine these first four partial derivatives. To begin, we want the partial of x with respect to r, which indicates we differentiate r cosine five theta with respect to r, treating theta as a constant, which gives us just one times cosine five theta or cosine five theta. And now we'll find the partial of y with respect to r, which indicates we differentiate r sine eight theta with respect to r, treating theta as a constant, which gives us one times sine eight theta or just sine eight theta. And now let's determine the partial of x with respect to theta and the partial of y with respect to theta. To find the partial of x with respect to theta, we now differentiate r cosine phi theta with respect to theta, treating r as a constant, which gives us r times negative sine five theta times five, or negative five r sine five theta. To find the partial of y with respect to theta, we now differentiate r sine eight theta with respect to theta, treating r as a constant, which gives us r times cosine eight theta times eight, or eight r cosine eight theta. And now let's determine the partial of z with respect to r. The partial of z with respect to r is equal to the partial of z with respect to x, which is a derivative of x y with respect to x treating y as a constant, which is one times y or y, and then times the partial of x with respect to r, which we already found as cosine five theta, and then plus the partial of z with respect to y, which is a derivative of x y with respect to y treating x as a constant, which is x times one or x, and then times the partial of y with respect to r, which again we already found as sine eight theta. So now we have the partial z with respect to r, but we want this to be a function of r and theta, so now we perform substitutions for x and y, where x is equal to r cosine five theta, and y equals r sine eight theta which gives us y again, which is r sine eight theta times cosine five theta, and then plus x, which is r cosine five theta times sine eight theta. Notice we have like terms here. Both of these terms have a factor of r, a factor of sine eight theta, and a factor of cosine five theta, and therefore the sum is equal to two r, let's write this as cosine five theta times sine eight theta. This is the partial of z with respect to r. And now let's determine the partial of z with respect to theta. The partial of z with respect to theta is equal to the partial of z with respect to x which again is the derivative of x y with respect to x treating y as a constant, which is one times y or y, and then times the partial of x with respect to theta, which we already found, it's negative five r sine five theta. And then plus the partial of z with respect to y, which once again is a derivative of x y with respect to y, treating x as a constant, which is x times one or x, and then times the partial y with respect to theta, which again we already found as eight r cosine eight theta. And now again we want the partial of z with respect to theta as a function of r and theta, which indicates we substitute r sine eight theta for y and r cosine five theta for x, like we did before. 
which gives us r sine 8 theta times negative 5 r sine 5 theta plus x, which is r cosine 5 theta times 8r cosine 8 theta. We don't have like terms here, but let's go ahead and multiply one more time. The partial z with respect to theta is equal to negative 5r squared. Let's write this as sine 5 theta sine 8 theta plus 8r squared cosine 5 theta cosine 8 theta. This is the partial of z with respect to theta. I hope you found this helpful.